Without exchanging their measurement results, Alice and Bob cannot decide whether there is a specific connection between their random patterns or not. Thus, they need to compare their measurement results with one another. A connection exists between the measurements, for example, if the results always match one another, or if they never match one another. To establish that, we count up how often the measurements of Alice and Bob match and how often they differ. The difference between the number of matching and different measurement results in the experimentally determined correlation function C. By dividing by the total number of all measurements, the value of C gets normalized and ranges between minus 1, anti-correlation, and plus 1, perfect correlation. If we compare the two random patterns from a coin, all fields become gray. We then obtain the result that the correlation C is equal to minus 1. That is, anti-correlation. The correlation function specifies to what extent the random patterns depend upon one another.